Uh, about four and a half minutes until the opening bell on this Thursday morning. We've got some movers to talk about, and we start with Walgreens Boots Alliance, the pharmacy chain, of course. That company coming out with its fiscal second quarter profit uh, numbers today and beating estimates by a pretty wide margin on the bottom line, above 59 versus the dollar 37 that analysts were looking for. Not a bad margin on the top line either, 33.76 billion dollars in sales. But the shares are trading lower. The company, even though it beat estimates, it still uh, reaffirmed its annual forecast, which is for adjusted earnings per share growth in the low single digits. Perhaps that's why there's a little bit of disappointment here. Even if they beat, they're still not revising up their forecast. Um, the company, by the way, doing well because of the still high demand during the quarter for COVID-19 vaccines, for tests, for over-the-counter medicines as well. So uh, still getting a lift from that, but presumably that is an effect that is going to wane as the year goes on, Brian Sazi. Uh, what's also to wane is the like as the year goes on, uh, Julie, it's the company's name itself. We were showing Walgreens Boots Alliance, but the company noting in the press release uh, that perhaps they could be just called Walgreens very soon. They say the deal uh, or the strategic review or the sale process, I should say, of Boots Alliance uh, is in fact continuing. I, I would suspect that asset is in fact sold before year end. The company goes back to just being Walgreens and doing what it does well, selling all those fancy cosmetics we're, you're showing right there on the shelves. And look, this was another strong quarter by Walgreens under uh, CEO Rosalind Brewer, I believe now the CEO for over a year. She just continues to get it done. 14.7% increase in same-store sales in the U.S. Highest increase, Julie, in 21 years. Also, operating profits up 36% year over year. I like that as well. Walgreens, I, I understand the sell-off, but still lots to like in the quarter. Yeah, it is interesting there that we are seeing um, that sell-off. And by the way, when the numbers came out, the stock was sort of a little changed. So this acceleration to the downside coming, I, I don't know, perhaps it's something from the conference call as well, Saz, that, uh, that came out um, after the numbers came out.